Hey everybody, welcome back. Maul here. We are ringside today. We're about to do some war attacks in the Aero Barrage War. So we're doing pretty well in this war. We're up by 1300 points and let's see, we're at 28 flags. They're at 44. So they're struggling attacking us, um, which is good. It means that we're We've been able to improve our defenses by, you know, rearranging heroes, putting them in the right order on defense. Uh, if you want to check out a video that I have about making war defenses, uh, I've got a, a folder with some different war defense setups. I'm not sure if I've done Aero Barrage. I'll probably do that video tomorrow that's very specific to Aero Barrage defense, but... Let's jump in here. Uh, Mayoshi, I've been wanting to attack him since this war started. Him or her, I'm not sure. This is a defense that I'm very, very jealous of. I've tried to get Hawthorne. I've tried to get Waterpipe. I don't have either of those heroes. And so I do have a, a team that is a, my anti-Waterpipe team. Hawthorne does throw a wrinkle in there. So does Jove. It's a lot of damage if I start off slow. Um, it may not matter that I can negate water pipe. So let's jump in here. We are going to go down here to my anti water pipe team. Put Zhao Tu on the far end so she's less likely to get hit if a hit comes to the middle. Ojima. Yeah, Nemesis is great against Hawthorne. She has the... She'll punish you for mana generation. So, And she can block it if she has enough time to charge. Also, yellow against Hawthorne is a, uh, a good way to go. If I can one-shot Mayoshi here, then... This is going to be the team to do it with. I think the troops look good. Uh, yeah. Let's just go in here and give this a whirl. This board does not look bad to start out. I guess I'm not going to have a whole lot of excuses if I... That didn't help, but hopefully we can get rid of Hawthorne here. Let's hit him with Zhao too. Now we have some reflect on us of status ailments for a little while. I don't want to kill um, Water Pipe because she doesn't do anything, so let's... Let's start hitting Jove. Now, let's see. I do need to finish charging up Ojima here. That's the nail in the coffin. Let's see if we can't make some matches here. Can just send tiles into water pipe all day. Okay. We're going to take a shot from Jove. out okay let's see now there's not enough minions right now so let's see if nemesis can take him out 
Yeah, I love her. She is uh, one heck of a sniper. I generally don't like hit one heroes, but someone like Nemesis who hits so hard that um, it, it's worth it because sometimes there's just a hero you got to get rid of. And let's go ahead and just set water pipe off one more time. I know we're going to get some fiends on us here, but it's okay. Give them a negative five stack for mana generation. And let's take a couple of shots here. No. This was a great board, but this also was a great team. So. You take the wrong team against this defense, and it doesn't matter how good your board is. But, take the wins when I get them. I would swap out Elizabeth here. Elizabeth is a, an old hero. You can see she did nothing in this battle. So, um, I mean, the fiends didn't, didn't really hurt anything. At this point, it's just a matter of finishing it off. All right. Hit number two. Let's Take a look around here. I should probably just go ahead and find something for my anti-minion team, which is, I went ahead and built up the anti-minion team here. So this is team eight. This is what I'll be rolling with. These are two of my slow heroes here. Um, with Grimble, it you know, I can make use of them. Let's see. Yeah. I. Whenever I fail with this team, it's generally because it takes... Because I get off to a slow start. And so I'm adding... I'm making this team a little more traditional with Pass Per 2 as a, as a power healer, Mother North as my defensive specialist to try and bring Grimble back in case I lose him. I really need to limit break Grimble because this team really only loses when Grimble dies. So, the one thing I don't like about attacking Freya or Bira tanks is that when they die, they give a small mana cut and that that uncharges my, my hitters. It means I need one more match in each of those colors. But, you know, this team here is probably the most difficult. Winifred is just a beast. She is, she's definitely, in my opinion, better than Khufu. She hits just as hard. And uh, and also gives these ailments. Minus 54% attack for 5 turns. And makes everyone immune to status buffs. So, let's see. They do have Aino too far off to the left. And Tyr is a pretty worthless hero. Yeah, I probably would have um, put Calervo in Aino's spot and put Aino in Calervo's spot to give this team a better chance to to heal. 
They're clearly trying to go for attack damage up front. So, hmm. It does make the team dangerous if, if you get off to a slow start. Let's give it a shot. With this, with Grimble, this Grimble team, it's kind of all or nothing. You either, you either get the dark tiles or you don't. <laughs> There's no real reason why I switched those around. It's just mentally, this is how I arrange my teams where my primary hitter here is Malin because, um, is it a he or a she? I think it's a he. Malin seems to uh, be more effective with all of the the ailments that Malin puts on him. Let's go in here and see if we can get our dark tiles. It's not too bad. So let's make this match. Take our diamond. And Freya's gonna fire, that's perfect. So let's just go ahead and get ready. Okay, I will take the, the mana right now. Now if Freya dies, then we lose Malin, but we've got the diamond here. So let's fire Gossick first. Yeah, I, I didn't think Gossick because he has full health, so his hit is not as strong. And that allows us to hit with Malin and drop ailments on their whole team. Now, yeah, let's just go ahead and see if we can't get close to charging Malin back up again. Yep, there we go. Let's increase defense because if Calervo doesn't die, ah, yeah, there we go. Then we want him to at least have a good chance of missing. Not that it really matters at this point. Yeah, see, he missed Grimbles. Uh, starting out with that diamond was good. I mean, this team, if you get the tiles up front, that's it. It's its over. All right, let's look at the teams we've got left. Again, I build the teams ahead of time, and I find defenses that are weak against the teams that I have built. I, I've seen a lot of youtubers who go in they have such a deep roster that they just go in and find a defense and then they build a team specially to take that defense out which is amazing to watch when someone's really good at it but i'm not quite to that level yet i prefer to have teams that i am comfortable with their synergies i know how they work Okay, I put together a new team, so this the, that team will be fun to watch. It is a, it defies the common rules that we use in attack here. I'm out of, of minion counters at this point. I, I need to level up more of my minion counter heroes, so I'm going to avoid this defense. This is a minion-based defense, which 
is very susceptible to minion counters, but without minion counters, this is a very brutal defense. Let's see. Let's focus on my purple team. My purple team has Dispel and deals quite a bit of damage. Purple team is good for a flank, a yellow flank. This team is set up appropriately, but the the use of Leidenbrock and Ketlin on a defense is overkill on your defense. It makes it difficult to do damage. So Freya doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Caitlyn doesn't do a whole lot of damage. There's there's no one here that does a lot of damage. So this is probably a good one for a dark attack team. Let's see if there's anyone else. Ooh, Darth Vader. How can Maul not attack Darth Vader? I think I have to. There's also a. They have Vivica on the flank. On the flank, yeah. Let's drop everybody in here and see. Power healer, defensive specialist. I've got my off-color sniper. Sorry, hitter. Snipers technically hit one. And. Um, Panther is actually the attack specialist here. Actually, now that they nerfed her, has her nerf come out yet? Mine is 54% defense against dark. So they haven't released that nerf yet. It's coming, though. That 54% is going to go down to, I think, 34%. So, uh, in this with this team, I'll fire Panther first. Panther first, and then Louis does more damage than Louis first, and then Panther. And we got the troops in the right order because I dropped the, de the defense first. Let's look at the team. So we got Bira. Bira's anti-minion. I don't have any... Oh, no, I do have Holda here. Hmm. That's okay. You know, one thing that I do here, there's only one minion hero, so I am actually going to swap out Panyolite with an actual sniper and drop in Zhang Fei. He will give me the ability to reflect Morel's defense down. And let's see if I have a better... I'm going to save... It's a null thought for my special team that I put together for the end here. I have a lot of other good purple heroes, but I'm not sure if I would consider them defensive specialists. You know what? Let's put quartz in here. Quartz does heal a bit. All enemies get minus 44% defense, so if I can't fire Cleopatra first, having that cleanse is helpful from Quartz, and Quartz is coming up in the Soul Exchange, so if you're watching and you're considering Quartz, you can see him in action here. Okay, let's go in with this team. So I have a yellow match on the far right and I have a purple match in the middle. The yellow match, if I make the purple match first, 
it's going to bring the greens up and then I can make the green match and that'll give me a that'll move this tile all the way up to here so let's make the purple match first do I want to make that blue diamond Let's stick to the original plan. Okay. I've got yellows here that I want to bring together. Let's do this. You know, let's do this. The damage from these two Do the, the increased attack up first, and then we'll hit with Panther for the minus 54% against Dark, and now we'll hit with Louie. At this point, I need to make yellow matches. I need to get Cleopatra charged. So we'll do this. Of course, I lost a little bit of mana there. So I'm going to lose someone to Silvaria. But I think we'll be okay. Now that I get that deep heal, everyone's back up full. So we'll hit with Panther first. And at this point, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that is, that was what, the third win? What teams do we got left here? We got the blue team that's good against fiends and good against teams that buff themselves. I got my red team. I got a yellow team down here. See, we're running out of targets. This team likes to buff itself. Let's show them why that's a bad idea. Okay, we've got my off-color hitter in Hammer, and he also assists in as being an attack specialist as well. Finley, obviously defense down. He's a good hitter and an attack specialist. Pangi just does a tremendous amount of damage. We've got Krampus here for a defensive specialist, and the Taunt, this is a very good team. The only thing that they have they can even 
slightly counter this team is Jean-Francois. Gives plus 94 defense against ice, which even with that defense up, I don't think that's enough. And Pengi is a really good counter for um, dodge. He just hits so many times that even if that dodge is up, I just go ahead and fire him because a lot of hits are going to get through. So let's just go in and fight. Okay, not a great starting board. But it turned nice. And they're all buffed. So we'll hit Krampus first, get some attack up. Doesn't really matter where we start. Turn everybody to defense down. I think. Yeah, let's avoid the dodge. And now we're just just charging. I like Arco on this team because of all the minions. His heal is going to be pretty deep, and he overheals, so look at that, 1,000 heal. We already have more hit points. This team can't even do this much damage, so no matter what happens, we can't really lose. See that everyone has the plus 94% defense against blue and still took a lot of damage. Yeah, this defense is is way too passive for for this meta at this point. There's just there's not a single hero on this defense that poses a threat. Just hit with hammer first. Oof, this is going to be a lot of damage. If she, nope, she doesn't even survive long enough to take the damage. Okay, we got two attacks left. Let's go. Let's try my crazy new team. Try it out here. Sure, why not? Go in here. So here's my new team. We've got in the left corner Xenolfod, who gives plus 10% mana, Ludwig, who obviously gives uh, that huge mana boost. Isrod, who also boosts mana every time you're hit. He gives each hero mana. And I'm going to put a very fast hero right here to end that'll impact their whole team with his ailments. And then Guardian Hippo. So the idea behind this team is if I can get Ludwig to fire, then which I only need three matches. Let's go into the troops here. 
we'll give Ludwig the 29. Now, Zanolfod, that extra 10% that he's going to give, will charge Ludwig after the third match. Now I have Isrod for defense. The amount of mana generation from this team is, is crazy, and they keep firing, and every time they fire, it fires Guardian Hippo. So the damage in this team is going to come from, from Guardian Hippo. So let's, let's see if it works. Uh, let's switch this here to 23. Guardian Hippo, we definitely need this to be an attack up. Um, this guy gives some pretty beefy minions, but honestly, the minions, it doesn't even matter. The only real threat here is Peppermint. Because I don't think I have Cleanse. Let's see if Yeah, peppermint could be dangerous there. If I can't cleanse that poison. Let's attack seven instead. With this crazy team. I haven't had enough time to play around with this team to see if Peppermint's poison is going to adversely impact this team. Get all the troops moved around. Okay. Let's go. Alright, we got some purples. We'll, we'll take them. See if we can get purple up here. We got it. I'd rather not set off in Nitra. But, it's okay. Okay. So, there's Quan. Ludwig. Get some heal and some mana. And, now we can set off Hippo. Now, every time anyone fires, Hippo's going to fire. So let's see. Let's see what we can do. Let's do, doesn't matter, Isrod, Ludwig, make sure we can do Hippo again here.
the dodge is annoying, but as we whittle the team down here. It matters less and less. Yeah, you'll have to tell me what you think in the comments about this team. Pretty crazy, right? It's like I'm not really paying attention to what the defense is doing, because it doesn't really matter. But the taunt and the counterattack, whatever they do is probably hurting them more than me. Firing Ludwig too early. I need to wait. This team is just every round, everyone's ready to go. Let's just keep pounding away. All right, that was fun. I like being able to throw new teams together and see new synergies, so I hope you guys enjoyed that one. We got one attack left. I think we'll put in our yellow team, maybe here. Yeah, why not? Oh, we do have the red team. Let me look and see which one would be better. Now if the yellow team's better, might as well attack and take out um, Peppermint. Although it does give us the option of switching from this green support staff here to could go blue. I do like Esme better. Um, yeah, let's do this. I'm just looking at the troops, make sure that's how I want it, it is. Let's go in here. All right, well, this looks pretty good. Just don't wanna mess up what I've got going with these yellows. So yeah, let's do this so that we can do this and then this now the peppermint is gone they are dead increased damage let's see what do you think this team can do in one shot here let's fire them all uh, Sobek didn't even fire, so just Anne and Jove enough was enough. And that was it. We went six for six, so that was a pretty good showing. And it looks like there's still 1,200 points behind with 20 attacks, so 
They're pretty much done. I did see somebody one-shotted me. That was a nice hit. De Poco Preste. Let's see what else happened. Looks like this was a two shot. Yep, there was the first one, so that was a two shot. And yeah, 27, 26, so that was a two shot. And they didn't attack me for a long time in the beginning. Yeah, so I'll show you my defense here. I went in with Cleopatra is just, she's such a strong healer that if this battle drags out, the arrow barrage really punishes the enemy. It's like you have an extra attacker. So Cleopatra, in my, in my head, the way that I look at this is I have a really deep healer it's because of the arrow barrage it's they're gonna take the extra damage so it's kind of like I have a healer doing damage here Louie in the middle um, I like Louie because at average speed I get a a uh, dispel for the the whole attacking team and um, a defense down of 24% so that follow-up hits from Sobek or Zenda here really really hurt and then Calervo I have sitting off to the side he's average speed I know he's not gonna fire early in the match but if if they struggle with Louis and Zenda and Cleopatra and this match starts to drag out the arrow barrage piles up you know that um, that hurts them over the long term Zenda's mana steel hurts them over the long term, and then they have to start dealing with Calervo's mindless attack shots. So that was my thought process on this defense. It seemed to work pretty well. I did get one shot at once. So I'll look at it, look back at it again at the end of this war and see if I am gonna make some adjustments. And I will make a video for Arrow Barrage Defense after this one. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked that new attack team. And best of luck on, on your attacks and your defense, actually. So have a good one.